So I would just like to stop the video right here to let you know it was sponsored by The Adventures of Scraps which is an absolutely awesome brand new game available for both the iPhone and Android. The link is in the description below but in a nutshell you gotta fly through absolutely insane places, collect as many coins as you can to go ahead and save your buddy Tiff. So it is super super fun to play and it's kind of like a mini Just Cause 3 because you can jump out your plane and wingsuit. Even though that's not exactly the smartest thing to do because it's super freaking hard, but it's like Just Cause 3 but you're an animal and you gotta save your buddy, okay? But it's a ton of fun, super addicting, highly recommend you guys to go ahead and try it out. The link is in the description below. What is going on guys and welcome your face back to the amazing world of Just Cause 3. Now, it is a haunted video. Oh yeah, let's get into that type of mood. I mean, you can also grab yourself some popcorn, but boy oh boy, there are just more mysteries to like be continued in this game. Seriously, okay? Like, I don't know when this stuff is going to come to an end as far as these mysterious stuff go, but I still need answers, okay? Because today we're going to be talking about the Boom Island myth slash it being actually haunted. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really get any crazier than this. Now, I want to give a big shout out to a YouTuber who goes by the name Some Fair Life Milk. The link to his channel and the video that you see in the background is in the description below because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have found this. So big shout out to you, okay buddy? But basically, you guys probably know Boom Island. I mean, if you've ever played Just Cause 3, like right at the very, very beginning, like when the game wasn't even downloaded, okay? That's the kind of like level I'm talking about. This was the location that you was allowed to playing whilst the game continued to download. So it was a super little cool feature at the same time because I've never really played a game that done that. So whilst the game was downloaded, you were always put at Boom Island, which is kind of just like a big playground as far as it goes. I mean, it's like racetracks and whatnot. I mean, you can see my videos in the background. I've done like multiplayer videos in this location. It genuinely is just a fun place, okay? But that's really as far as everyone thought it went, okay? Including myself. So the YouTuber Some Fair Life Milk actually showcased a Boom Island Easter egg, if you will, slash haunted myth. And basically in daytime, right, it just looks like a normal island. Now we know this island is way, way out of the map. Like genuinely, it will always be far away. No matter how close you want to get to it, if you can't fast travel to it, it is guaranteed always far, far away, okay? But that being said, in the daytime, it is a normal, like, island. I mean, boats are going around it. It genuinely is just, like, as normal as it gets in terms of it just looking and being an island, pretty much, okay? Like, there's no lights, there's nothing spooky about it whatsoever. Now, that being said, let's talk about what happened when it becomes nighttime, okay? So, when it becomes nighttime, bear in mind, this is in the middle of the ocean, okay? Absolutely nothing around it. Now, there there are actually some lights that shine from the bunker, if you will, up into the sky, kind of like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but like, you see a lot of them on like, army bases, I think it is, I could be wrong, but like, bases in general, and, and like, you see in loads of films and shit like that, okay, I know, I know you guys are gonna be saying like, hey, shut the fuck up, Super Rebel, a good example to give of where we see this is on the Sky Fortress, but basically, it's just some big ass lights to say, look, I'm over here, okay, pretty much, now that being said, kind of like a lighthouse, if you will, I mean, you could kind of go that way, but basically, that is what it is if you were to kind of look at it on an outside sort of perspective and from the distance it looks pretty badass okay it looks cool it looks nice but that's all you think about however when you get closer to it only a section of this map or this area should i say becomes super super foggy now i mean as soon as like you move away from that like the rest of the island is sweet as like there is no fog there is no nothing it genuinely is just normal. Now, fogginess 
is one thing, but what happens is also crazy after this, because not only is it foggy, but all the boats that you can see in the daytime and stuff like that, casually normally going around this thing, actually drive straight into Boom Island. Now, I mean, I kind of guess where you guys are going to say, hey, Zip Rebel, like, isn't this kind of obvious, like, Boom Island? I get what you're trying to say, because I thought the same thing, except... The vehicles, or boats if you will, don't actually go boom, okay? They just literally turn around and drive straight into this thing. Now, I have no idea why this is, but it definitely is, like, not a glitch, okay? Because if it was a glitch, obviously it would have just happened during daytime. Like, it would have just been a never-ending thing, and it probably would have been fixed by now. But the fact that even if you still want to see it in that perspective of, hey, you know, this still might be a glitch, but only at nighttime, that still doesn't make sense, because the way you got to see it is the fogginess, okay? And the fogginess is what makes it super, super creepy. And the fact that you are in the middle of the ocean, right? Like imagine this in real life. You're in the middle of the ocean, nothing around you, and you just find this island, but only around this island does it become super foggy and does things start crashing into it. I mean, come on. Like it's only at that stage do you think what on earth is going on? So this is some sort of Easter egg, but I mean, that's what everyone calls it. Like, I wouldn't really call this an Easter egg. It's more of a myth and, like, what is the reason behind this? I mean, you can, like I said, go and look into Boom Island, the name in general, but even then, things surely would have exploded, right? Like, it's not exactly rocket science to kind of, like, figure out something like that. But that being said, it's not the only strange thing that has actually happened in general. Like... For instance, when you go to the end of the map, it becomes foggy. But like, there's different parts of the map that slightly become kind of weird. But that being said, I don't know how to take this, but it definitely is a cool little spot. And I recommend you guys to go and try it out for yourselves because, I don't know, it's just one of those things that you no know, one really knows why it's there. We've never really got an, an answer for it, but it's just something that's cool and like super creepy at the same time. But I want you guys to get in the comment section below and let me know what you think about this. Loads of creepy stuff in this game. I mean, if you want to take a look at the previous videos we've done, like for example, that little dust that was goes flying in the forest, and then of course you got the random group in the forest, and then when you go to the end of the map, it becomes all stormy and rainy, like the Bermuda Triangle. There are like a whole load of like secret little locations if you will but it's only until you genuinely find it at the right time because with this easter egg like i've gone past boom island so many times in daytime and nighttime but it's just not something i've spotted right because especially if you do it at nighttime like you don't really acknowledge it and if you just only do it in daytime of course you don't acknowledge it whatsoever and I mean, genuinely, like, as a whole, kind of, like, subject, no one really goes to Boom Island anymore. That's why it's kind of, like, pushed way out the map. But that's also why you never know what else is in the world of Just Cause Free. But get in the comment section below and let me know, did you know about this? Have you got any cool kind of little locations or hidden locations that you've come across that you don't think I have come across or other rebels? Well, get in the comment section below and let me know. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up the video here. Big shout out to the YouTuber, of course, some Fair Life Milk who actually found this. A link to his video and his channel is in the description below. But as always, if you missed the previous videos, you can also go and check those out because all of the links are in the description below. But I mean, this is probably one of the coolest little things that I'd like to say personally would go down on my list of the weirdest things in Just Cause 3 because we know there's a shark in Just Cause 3 that was only revealed a while back the underwater caves just like a, a whole bunch of stuff I mean for example like even when I went to the moons trying to like we all know we're not exactly gonna go to the moon in Just Cause 3 but the aim was to see like how close you can get to the moon and I mean you can see the footage in the background like yeah you can get kinda close but then like you see like this red beam out of nowhere and then if you go back to like a certain location that red beam is just floating and like things like this can't be glitches there's gonna be something behind it but I mean it's always fun to just find weird things like this in the game but like I said once and again if you have found any weird locations in Just Cause 3 or stumbled across things similar to this then let me know in the comment section below. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up this video. As always, hope you have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day. But until the next one, guys, adios amigos.